guys welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove this exhaust pipe with the cats on it and we're gonna get that done so that I can carry it to work and weld it up and get it put back on the truck so I brought my saws all home from work because these bolts right there and right there are just rusted completely to crap and you can't really get in there to them at all i mean i've tried getting a wrench in there to get to them i mean i've just tried i've tried a bunch of other stuff i mean there was just no way i could turn with a wrench couldn't get a ratchet in there definitely can't get impact in there so what i'm gonna end up doing is i'm gonna end up cutting them with the saws off getting the pipe off I'll bring my drill, get my drill, I'll drill it out, we'll put some new bolts in there that, you know, it's a bolt on each end, got a head on each end, that way we could just tighten them up, put them back up there, put some anti-seize on there so they can't seize up, and we'll just call it a day. But, uh, let's just go ahead and jump into doing this. Oh, we got an O2 sensor right here that I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's gonna give us a hard time to unplug. Hopefully not. We're up. Oh, there we go. So, literally, we're just gonna unplug the O2 sensor. I'm not even gonna, not even gonna take it out or even worry about messing with that because that's it's just an arm and a leg. So, oh, there's a bolts. I guess we can go ahead and cut them and get this over with. Hopefully. All right. I think I got y'all in a pretty good. I mean. Hopefully you don't fall from the saws all shaking. But, ah, go ahead and cut these things. Might have to take a die grinder to it. Try to get up under here and a little bit better and go home for it. Oh Lord. That's what happens when, you know, you use it at work all the time and the bastard stays in water and God knows what else. So, um, I'll get back to y'all when I get a new Sawzall. I gotta run. I'm gonna call, make some phone calls, see if anybody's got a Sawzall I can borrow. Hey, y'all. Um, I guess we're back in business. I guess the Sawzall was just mad at me for smacking the hell out the side of the engine block with it. Because, um, came out here... A few minutes ago, I went inside, got me, got me a sip of some coffee, and then, you know, it just started working again. So, apparently it likes me, but it don't like me. Me and this thing have a love-hate relationship. Well, we're going to get back to it. We're going to try to cut these bolts before it messes up again. Hopefully it won't, but I'll catch you all under the truck. Uh, I guess get back to cutting these bolts again. I mean, hopefully we can cut them. I mean, it might have been a little bit better, you know, if I take the dag on uh, but if I take the dag on tire up my way, it might be a little bit easier. But you know, I want to do it the hard way. Come on, 
Okay, this one. Just one more to go, and I ain't even sure how in the world we're even going to get to that. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to remove this out of the way. Because I don't want to cut that. I don't think there's anything behind that, so it should be fine. Alright. I'll get back to y'all once I get some wrenches. What's up, y'all? So, I'm back. Went and got me some wrenches. Uh, this is literally just set that I had in my truck. You know, just a normal uh, combination wrench set, three eighths to five eighths. You know, I just, all my tools are in my toolbox, chilling at work. Uh, I haven't really brought my toolbox that I got for here back yet. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump into doing this. But before we do that, I got a saying on this channel before I can work on my truck. You know can't can't start working until you pack a lip you know that that just don't work so you know the work don't begin until you got dip in remember that that is the same when i start working on my truck you know i get aggravated sometimes and i'll start to rage so you know i can't start working until i put me a big old fat dip in so i'm gonna go ahead pack me a lip and we're gonna get on to working on this truck Oh man, this is about to be fun, fun, fun. All right, y'all, let's get to it. Went and located my daggone 10 millimeter, thank God. You know, them, them suckers like to run away for some odd reason. You gotta keep them locked down like your old lady. Oh Lord. Well, my old lady don't run away. It's more the other way around. I try to run away from her. Oh, Lord. Probably a whole lot faster if I just got a ratchet. You know what? That's what we're going to do. We're just going to... We're just going to go ahead and just grab us a... You know, freaking quarter-inch drive ratchet. And let's see if we can find us a... Oh, there it is. Quarter-inch drive 10 millimeter. And we're just going to go ahead and just get her done. All right, so we got the 10 mil on here. Oh, tight, you dummy. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to, you know what? We're going to go ahead and leave that strap, that bolt inside that strap. We don't lose that. Tuck that sucker away over there. And now we got access to our boat right there. All right, so let's get back up on the truck and finish cutting that sucker off. All right, y'all. So the sawzall is like officially playing games with my emotions again. So we're just gonna go under here since we already got one bolt off. We're gonna go under here, grab the cat, and try to move it up and down and see if we can just break the bolt off like that. Sounds like a plan. I'll catch y'all on the truck. All right, y'all. So we're back up underneath the truck once again. And we're going to see if we can just break this freaking bolt off. If we can, I'll be real happy. But I got a feeling no one don't want to break like that. Yeah, honestly, I really can't even tell it's what the heck it's doing. Okay, on the plan B, uh, try to get the saws all fixed. How are we going to get the saws all fixed, you may ask? Like this.
Okay, maybe not. It usually works at work, but I guess stuff that works at work only works at work. I get back to y'all. All right, y'all. We got it all. Thank God. Hello? Is anybody in there? Nope. But how did I get it off without a sawzall? A lot of extensions and a half inch ratchet. Show did. About broke my arm, smacked myself in the head a couple of times. Still didn't knock no sense into me. But I'm gonna run inside. I'm gonna get ready for work. And I'll catch y'all a little bit later when I go do the other side and take the other side off. But until then, I'll see y'all around. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to start your Instagram so that y'all can see, you know, all the pictures of the truck and stuff and, you know, see what I'm doing when I'm not filming or when I'm not making videos and stuff like that. Keep y'all posted. So I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.